Hey everybody, today I am going to try to explain to y'all what ignition timing actually is. So, this is an engine block and there's a crankshaft in it. Um, and this is just, I've got a visual representation over on the bench, but if you are completely new to hot rodding and don't know anything about engines, this is what you got, right? So there's a block, right? And then there's a crank down here. Um, and then the crank rotates and if we look down here in this hole here You'll see that 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 journal there on the crank you see that that journal goes down As in far away from the top of the piston or top of the cylinder to All the way up Which is you know the piston would be sitting all the way up here so Ignition timing is actually a uh, reference for the amount of degrees before it reaches top dead center. So we're going to go over here and look at this and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So this is a cylinder head um, and I've got a spark plug just threaded in here just for representation. So it's an old plug. Um, so ignition timing is the amount of degrees before we reach top dead center that we start the fire okay so the spark plug is what starts the fire so what i've got here is a sleeve this is out of that 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 engine that we were just looking at right so when this is all bolted together this sleeve come on fucker there we go locks in and sits there like that and then you have a head gasket in in here okay and you would have a oh, got a piston, right, with a connecting rod attached to the crankshaft that's here. Okay, so that's so this is what it's doing, right? So the, the, the engine's pumping and it's doing going up and down, right? So um, so I know that most of you guys are like, dude, you're an idiot, just get to the cut to the chase but some people don't know how this works right so as the crankshaft spins it's rolling this up and down right so this is how you're making compression okay so this piston is in this sleeve it's coming up and down up and down up and down okay so this is going to be pretty crude but uh, i'm going to do my best to try to make it make sense so the this right now this piston right here we're going to call that at top dead center so if you notice that, that piston is flush with the top of the bore okay and what top dead center actually means is when the crankshaft has reached its peak lifting point so depending on how you build the engine this piston could be a little bit below deck could be a little bit above deck that's all up to the engine builder or the the parts that you have bought right so, but either way, top dead center is when the piston stops traveling upward, right? So as the crankshaft is spinning, it's pushing the piston up, it hits its peak, and then it comes back down. Wherever it peaks at is top dead center, okay? There's other things that play into it, like piston dwell and whatnot, but we're not going to get into that. This is supposed to be just a basic thing for you to understand. Ignition timing. So, um, the majority of people throw out numbers of it should have this much timing and uh and, and then that's safe and then it's this 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 much timing is safe on this fuel and yada yada and this much boost or this much nitrous whatever the heck you want to say the reality of it is is that every engine is different okay so when we're talking about timing um this is just going to be an over exaggerated visual so we see how deep that is in there okay now let's call that 50 degrees okay now that that number 50 degrees is in reference to how many more degrees of crankshaft rotation before we get to top dead center which is zero degrees right so let's just call that 50 degrees right so if that's 50 degrees then this is 40 30 you know 20 10 zero obviously those increments were not accurate but you get the point so the further down the hole the more ignition timing the more timing you have right so 
the idea here is we're going to light a fire and inside of this and this when this is all bolted together is the proper hopefully proper amount of air and fuel in this big fire that's about to happen okay so this is about to explode so we're shoving a whole bunch of air up here all the air and all the fuel is coming in through this valve right so it's coming in and it's filling this up right and it's getting pressurized and we are pre so we so we're drawing it all in as it's coming down right and we're starting to come up and now we got to decide when we want to light the fire right so lighting the fire is our ignition timing okay so um when people throw out an arbitrary number of it should have this much timing in it they're hopefully assuming that you're talking about maybe a completely stock engine that has been 100 percent verified that the ignition timing syncs with the ecu but the reality of it is is that every single combination is different and you can't just go by an arbitrary number of like well at 30 pounds of boost it needs 10 degrees of timing or 20 degrees of timing because every combustion chamber right that shape its design is different right so here's the, the meat and potatoes of this if you light this fire down here at the, the say 50 degree mark right and we've got the proper amount of air and fuel in the hole right and we light the fire at 50 degrees we're it's exploding so that means that this piston is down pretty far in the hole and when it explodes it expands right so the fire happens and boof it expands and it's going to try to push this back down right so this is all happening in you know microseconds but what i'm getting at is when the fire lights it's going to try to push this back down even though the crankshaft is pushing it upward right so that's where you get bent rods and uh broken connecting rods and they come out the side of the block and they you know because this this thing is, is supposed to be getting pushed upward if you light this thing too early this rod's on a weird angle and it comes up and it says bam explodes and this thing bends right or breaks or whatever now <clears throat> if you light this thing too late what do you think happens we don't have enough time to burn all the fuel the mix that's in here uh, before it gets shoved out the exhaust valve right so it's a happy medium and and this is a variable based off of uh, you know rpm and boost and and whatnot but it's a happy medium that has to happen in order to light the fire burn everything that's in the cylinder and push it out the exhaust when the exhaust stro stroke starts to happen right without catching anything on fire as in metal parts right so or bending rods or any of that stuff so if you light the fire at let's just say 30 degrees of timing it has this much amount of time before it reaches tdc and you right you, you should have the correct amount of fuel and air in the cylinder all right now if you were to light if if we didn't have enough fuel and air in the cylinder or we were just completely over timed what happens is say we've got 40 degrees of timing in it it lights the fire and we burn up all the fuel by say about here and what does it do this is still on fire so it's looking for more fuel it doesn't have any more actual fuel but what turns into fuel aluminum aluminum turns into fuel because it'll burn this shit all right it will burn this it'll burn the piston it'll burn the cylinder head um if we have too much timing with not enough fuel right now if we have too little timing and way too much fuel you wind up getting raw fuel out the exhaust valve or you have a a, a close to a hydrolock situation right so again ignition timing is the amount of time that we're we're burning this before this reaches tdc right so and i know this is pretty rudimentary but there's a lot of guys out there that just don't understand what actual ignition timing is so here we are 30 you know 40 degrees 30 20 10 0. if we light the fire at zero we didn't really burn much did we if we light the fire at 40 we burnt a whole hell of a lot right if we light it at 30 
20, we're starting to get into a reasonable range, right? So depending on RPM and boost and all that kind of stuff. But I just kind of want to explain what ignition timing actually is. It's when we light this spark plug versus where this piston is in relation to top dead center. How many degrees away from it is, from top dead center we are, right? So hopefully that answered some questions. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you... Uh, if you got any or if you're completely confused, uh, see ya.